Hey everybody, how's it going? Pat Gilbert from PSNAP Studios. This is part two of the XR18 digital mix review. This one's going to be how we're controlling it. Um, so let's jump right in. I'm going to show you right from soup to nuts how it goes. So we'll open up the app. Uh, you can see on the Wi-Fi lock, um, it's connected to the XR18. We're going to go ahead and connect. There's our console. I'm going to connect that. It takes just a second. It's going to load up the data from the console and go to the default screen. <clears throat> so this is really kind of your main screen. Everything that you see over here uh, on the right uh, are your layers. They represent what you're seeing on the left side of the screen. Right now we're in channels 1 through 8 uh, and we're showing uh, the left right mix. Um, Let's take a look at one of the channels, like channel one. I don't know if you can read it, but that just it says kick in it. Um, so at the very top, we've got our pan. We can pan left to right. Um, you've got this button right here. We can go in and see your whole, uh, you can see your whole, uh, <clears throat> your whole channel strip, turn your gates on, you know, your EQ, um, all that kind of stuff if you want to see it there. Uh, we'll go back underneath that um, or you can press and hold it and it'll go to the scribble strip but we'll look at that a little bit later there's your solo button this right here is the slider the numbers up here obviously representing the value of the slider and at the bottom uh, you have a, uh, a mute button you can switch over to channels 9 through 16 really pretty much the same thing it's the next group of 8 once again I tend to have my left right uh, front of house right there no matter where I am, if I'm on channels one through eight, or if I've grouped, like right here are the drums, I can go in and I'm just looking at my drums, my kick, my snare, my right overhead. Once again, there's the, the and I can just grab that group. Could be all my guitars, could be all my vocals. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. It's whatever you think would be cool in there. <clears throat> um, let's go to the aux effects, uh, which is right here. Um, this first one is your line in, that's channel 17 and 18, they're the quarter inch ins that you probably saw if you watched the first video. Um, that's really going to control, uh, let's say you've got a computer or your phone or an mp3 device uh, doing whatever you're doing. These other ones, one, two, three, four, those are your returns um, from the effects channel. Let's go to the FX Sends main right here. And um, those are your FX Sends 1 uh, through 4. That's what's being sent to them uh, and our mains left, right uh, volume. We'll go to the DCA. DCA is kind of cool. Um, that's your digital control amplifiers. You can assign various channels and raise or lower them all as one group. Uh, maybe all your vocals, all your guitars. We can go in here and, you know, right now I've got kick, snare, you know, maybe we'll take that out or we'll add it in. And uh, that way with those DCAs, I'm bringing up the total volume um, of those three tracks, um, you know, with one. And you could label it something different that meant other than DCA one, you could put, you know, drums in it or something that would make sense to you. Uh, let's look at our buses uh, here. Those are our buses, bus one through six. Um, uh, these could be monitors or, you know, you could send something to your monitors right here. You know, your drummer could be, you know, bus one. Um, and you can go in and, you know, look at it that way. Uh, let's go back to it. There's your, that's uh, bus one, bus two, bus three, bus four. Um, those are individual buses, obviously, they can go somewhere other than the main left-right speakers. I'm going to go back up to here. Um, you can see how these move right now. It's pretty, you can hit fine and it will refine your movements if you're trying to dial something in really close. Um, that's going to give you the ability to do that uh, when you depress that. Uh, 
when you have that fine bend. Just really kind of re refines your movement so you can add, so you can move a little more precisely. Uh, you can have your mutes under that. You can have a mute lock. You can unmute all, you can mute all. You can also pick, um, if you want to pick, so, you know, I want to be able to mute my kick and my snare. Um, in here, that's gonna, that's gonna, you can see it did it right there. It's gonna mute those, uh, those particular channels and you can construct those and build it, you know, however you want to do it. So once again, we're on channels one through eight, as you see up in the upper right hand corner with the uh, send fader depressed. Um, you can notice you're no longer adjusting the main mix. You're adjusting which, you're adjusting the mix in one of the buses. We're in bus one, but we can just easily go to bus three. So we're gonna go back to bus one. Um, whatever button on that is depressed, the send fader button, whichever you see underneath, is the bus that you're adjusting. Bus six, obviously. We'll go back to bus one um, and leave it there. Um, once again, adjusting with the sliders, that doesn't affect what's coming through the main speakers. It's the amount of that channel that is going to bus one uh, and not the main mix. So that might be going to the monitors and your drummer wants to hear, you know, a lot of bass. Um, you know, you can bring it up there. And obviously, we're not affecting the bass in the main mix. We're affecting the bass and whatever the mix is in bus one that is going out to, let's say, your drummer or uh, whoever else there is. Uh, okay, so let's look at... Uh, hang on a second. Okay, there's your effects sends. We can look at that. Uh, that's going to be your effects sends one through four, your main volume. Those basically indicate uh, the amount of whatever effect is present uh, in the particular, in that particular channel. Oops, go back. There you go. Uh, bus master. Uh, I think that's it. That right there is the uh, basically the bus master. Uh, the right side gets deselected. Um, it's a layer, a single slider. That slider is the master for that particular uh, for that particular bus. Go back over here. We're going to go from the top. We're going to see a graph. We have meters. Oops, sorry. We have meters. Um, this shows you the preamps, channels 1 through 16, uh, USB, that's what's going, US, uh, where's USB, right there, USB, that's what's uh, going to the computer and back again in one view, it gives you all your levels, so if you're having trouble, uh, say with too much signal uh, through a particular channel, um, you can go here uh, and kind of see, uh, see what's going on and adjust it from there. You can go to RTA, which is real time. Oh, what the heck does that mean? RTA is uh, real time analysis uh, graph. To, that's basically a graph of how the signal is coming. Uh, the channels is spread out. Look back here. Um, snapshots, which looks like little, oh, this up right here. Uh, looks like a little camera. Um, one snapshot might be, uh, you know, of. Uh, uh, oh, say so it might be the band, another snapshot, you know, you might be your, uh, you know, an MC making introductions, and then maybe this is everything's muted, uh, and a computer is playing music, uh, you know, uh, on stage and there's nobody there. Your scenes uh, is a series of snapshot, snapshots and mixer settings. Uh, say you have two different bands. Um, I've just got one path, that's me. Um, you know, you can toggle back and forth between, you know, band one and band two. Uh, 
and basically you're you're just gonna save it as a scene and you're gonna name it. You know, it might be, could be as much as a venue that you play all the time, you know, with your band. You're just gonna go in, you, you know, Joe's Bar and Grill and you're gonna bring it up and there's your, uh, there's your, there's your scene for that. Uh, let's see, probably uh, routing, I think. Ah, dang it. Uh, inputs, outputs, I don't really mess with this too much. There's my inputs, I generally have them, you know, one to two to three to four. All goes down really on a diagonal. I don't really mess with that too, too much. That's how I kind of really like to have it. Um, your settings. Once again, I'm not really much of a MIDI guy when it comes to this stuff, but uh, I don't normally mess around with it. Um, you can go and edit your layers. You can move them up and down uh, if you want to have them showing in a different place when you're in this one. Uh, in this setting, you know, you can move them around however you'd like to see them. You know, once again, you might want to say, well, let's move my drums to the... You can edit it. Um, oops, I'm just going to go out of it. I'm just trying to move it for you here. Let's go to the layers. Well, don't want to do it. Um, and then once again, your scribble strip. You can go in here. Um, this is the kick drum. We might go in here. We want to make that blue. We want to rename it. Uh, you know, so we're going to go over here. I'm just going to call it kick again. I'm going to say OK. Actually, I usually have it green. Uh, and we'll go back. And really, there it is. So that's, uh, in a nutshell, there's probably a lot more to it, and there's probably a lot of other videos out there where you can get more out of it. Or if you have a particular question you want to ask me about, um, you know, certainly send me a message. I just didn't want to make this to be a too, too long uh, of a video. Um, so once again, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Another thing I thought I'd show you um, is this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab A uh, that we were just looking at. I have this thing called a, uh, it's the Brayson. I don't know if you can see it. I'll put a link on it. It's the Brayson uh, case that comes with this uh, unit. It's really cool because you can kind of put your hand in here. It does all this cool kind of stuff. Um, if you're going around uh, uh, the, whatever room you're in, trying to get your monitor to mix, um, it's a really it's a great way to just be able to honk around whatever space you're in and take care of it. Um, you can also has this. Right here, which is pretty sweet. It's got a built-in little kickstand, um, so you can put your tablet down uh, on whatever surface you got. So I really kind of recommend this. The tablet that I got here, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab A, it's 10 inch. Um, seems to be kind of a popular way folks like to go. Um, <clears throat> I think it was 199 bucks at Best Buy, and this was like, oh, I don't know, 49 bucks. Anyhow, cool stuff. Get one.